Hey everybody, it's Jack here, Talk Neuro City. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing very well indeed. Um, I hope you've all recovered from uh, England's devastating defeat in the Euro 2020 final against Italy. Uh, if you're Italian and you're watching, well done. Um, if you are English and you're a little bit sad, fear not. Norwich are playing Kings Lynn on Friday. There's nothing quite like a pre-season game at the walks to get you back up for it. Um, welcome back anyway to another video and we've got some transfer news and this is an exciting one. I've got my notes scrawled on my uh, shorthand notebook like a poor man's court correspondent um, and we're going to be talking about Pierre Melou, Le Melou. Can you tell I failed my French GCSE? Pierre Le Melou. Sorry to all the French out there. 28-year-old central midfielder. He's French, he's six foot one, and he's played in Ligue 1 for the last few seasons at Nice. Um, an impressive amount of appearances for Nice, actually. 140, 18 goals in his time there. Europa League action in a couple of them seasons as well. Look, we all know that the, the, the top division of France isn't the most competitive, but this is a man who has played European football on more than one um, campaign. And I think anyone who's amassed over 100 appearances in a European top flight, you have to look at relatively hard. I love this rumour as well. I think it's more than a rumour now, but it was initially found, I believe, before any of the, uh, the, the journalists or um, papers got it, by a few Norwich fans. Um, I saw it first from, from Totally Tete on Twitter, uh, and he tracked... Um, a private jet from Nice into Norwich. Now, that's not a particularly common flight route. It's certainly not a common flight route for private jets. Um, and it was then um, from a few publications that Pierre Le Malou is the man um, being talked about here. Now, central midfielder, why is that important? Well, it's important because we've lost Alex Tete, Mario Vrancic, Oliver Skip, Moritz Leitner, Marco Stiepemann, all in the last couple of months. So we've gone from having a relatively bulky um, list of midfielders to somewhat of a, of a fragile um, list. And when you look at the likes of Kenny McLean, who had a brilliant season last campaign, is he up to the Premier League? Maybe on the occasional game, but I wouldn't be relying on a Kenny McLean to be you know, playing 38 games a season in the top flight of English football. You've also lost Oliver Skip, who was arguably our best player last season. Um, so you, you, you've got gaps to fill here. And this is a man who clearly has experience. He's 28 years old. As I said, he's played um, in the top flight of France for, for a considerable amount of time. And I think some people will be going and, and looking at his age and being going, well, he's 28. It's not quite a Weber fit. I think the joy of Stuart Weber is he's been able to adapt um, in his recruitment patterns and yes it's all well and good going out and getting a 19 year old who you know might be the next big thing but sometimes you need to recruit um, experienced players and, and Malou seems to, to fit that bill. Now the rumoured price tag is around five million pounds, seems fair, um, for a man who has the experience but granted probably his best years um, might be behind him. We've been linked with other midfielders as well, haven't we? And Philip Billing from Bournemouth is the man that he's being talked about a lot. I like Philip Billing. Whenever I've watched Bournemouth, I've liked the look of Billing. Quite a authoritative, authoritative, authoritative player um, who gets the ball and and he almost demands respect. And I think Norwich have lacked that certainly in the Premier League when we've got there before. And we're certainly going to miss the legs of Oliver Skip with him not being around. So. Malou seems to fit that bill. Um, we do definitely need more quality in, that, in their midfield areas. And I'm looking at the team. I keep getting asked all constantly on Twitter, who should we sign? Who should we sign? Who should we sign? I always struggle to give a name because often the people I'm looking at, either Norwich aren't going to sign or they're out of our league. And I think often the players we do sign are players we've probably never heard of. I mean, I've never heard of this chap before this morning. Um, and I've done a little bit of research and read a few articles and... You can start to kind of paint the picture in your head. Of course, we've already signed Billy Gilmore, which is a fantastic addition. I'm looking at the squad now, though, and I'm thinking we need a striker. Um, we've got Pookie, we've got Eda, we've got Hugill. Are any of them 
truly up to the um, bill of, of scoring the amount of goals we need to, possibly. But, you know, with injuries and demands and cup games and international football, I'm looking for something else there. We definitely need a, a, a few more legs in midfield. We've got the goalkeeper and Angus Gunn, so we're sorted in that department with Tim Krul as the number one. And then depending on what happens with Max Ahrens, you might want another defender. But I'm now looking at that striker and the midfield. And Malou looks to be the man um, who will be coming in next. From the things I've been reading and the, and the people I've been listening to, this one looks pretty close to being a done deal. Also, a quick mention for Remy Matthews. I know he doesn't play for us anymore. I love Remy, and it looks like he's about to sign for Premier League team Crystal Palace. So a big good luck to Remy, who I'm sure will be loved down in South London. As well as that, the full pre-season fixture list is out. There's a few absolute crackers in there, um, and it's going to be brilliant to see the boys back in action. I know a lot of you are heading up to Kings Lynn on Friday night. Um, 17 quid. For a ticket seems slightly steep. I know non-league clubs have uh, have got to do their bit and get some money in the tills, but that seems steep for a pre-season game. But there we go. That's football nowadays, isn't it? I hope you're uh, having a, a lovely time, whatever you're up to. And let me know about Pierre Le Malou, Nice, 28-year-old, central midfielder, French, six foot one. Fits the bill for me. Does he for you? Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye.